good morning or whenever it is. Always seems like you guys catch me walking down the stairs. Sixty degrees and it still doesn't look good. Yep, still frozen, doesn't matter. Starting to rain and tomorrow is gonna be cold, so let's head into the shack. Well, I really didn't think I'd have to be starting this again, but apparently so. It does a job on the audio when filming, but when it's 35 degrees out, it gets very cold in here. Gotta have it. So while that thing is getting going, getting up to speed and heat, I'm just making this video today to chat with you guys. The Not Thursday channel is only a few weeks old. Not Thursday itself as a secondary show to Stealth Diggers is almost a year old. And as we move to the new channel here, uh, some things will remain the same, some things will be different. But as stated in the trail, there'll be all kinds of different videos. Uh, and one of them that I like to do is straight up vlogging. That's basically me connecting with you guys and, you know, sharing what's going on in the background. I do them because I enjoy them. You know, I go out and I do fun things and I make these videos just for the experience, but something like this gives you closer to reality. Like, I I just got these new tools in, these little keychain things, and that's my secondary camera we're filming on today, and I just realized that this is perfect for connecting my shoe to the tripod and then I just looked at my camera and realized I forgot to put on external mic so stand by that should make a world of difference I just felt like shooting with this camera today it's a Canon SL2 it's it's this extremely small DSLR that's the thing about not Thursday I like to play around with gear and have fun speaking of gear check out this baby through night v6 thrower I'm gonna be reviewing this it should be up this week apparently this thing will throw a beam almost a half a mile we'll find out that ought to be fun what are you doing Lou say hey there's the back end again so I gotta clean up a few things around here thank you to everybody who's been buying stealth digger tools and other stuff I do my very best to get things out to you quickly and I appreciate the feedback of got here quicker than expected. I do this every single day from the time I get up till I go back to bed. So I'm always on duty. So let's get this stuff cleaned up and do something. Boy, it's really pouring now. We're going for a drive. So obviously why I was checking the ground this morning is I want to get out metal detecting. I want to get out and do some relic hunting, but the conditions are just not favorable. And although it's fairly warm out right now, we have a deep freeze here in New Hampshire that just makes this top six inches to a foot down solid ice. That's why we have mud season when everything else on top starts to melt and can't get through that, you know, permafrost underneath. It all turns to mud. I don't know. I just wanted to come over and look at the pond. I mean, even when I went out for a drive the other day, 15, 20 miles from here, but several hundred feet down in elevation, all the ponds were clear. Surface find. Well, I got some iron. I mean, the one fortunate thing that's going on right now is I am able to get out and explore and hike. Today we're doing other things. And you're all wet. Jeez. So it makes the ground conditions challenging for us. Right where we're sitting is at 1,300 feet. And that horizon out there, that's the peak elevations of the town at 1,500 feet. I've taken you guys hiking out there quite a bit. But the way the land works, once you get over the other side of that ridge line, oh, you can drive 10, 15 miles and 
it quickly drops a thousand feet in elevation. We're basically in a big bowl, so every spring, it's a waiting game. This is good information to share with you guys so things make more sense. I see comments from people who live even further north of us in New Hampshire saying, well, we've been out metal detecting and digging for, you know, weeks. This part of New Hampshire has its own ecosystem, weather system. The terrain is obviously different. But not Thursday isn't going to be all about metal detecting and relic hunting anyways. It's going to be about stuff just like this. Everything in between, but we will do some serious relic hunting this summer. I just can't wait. Nice. Pick up the camera. Surf is fine. I'm up one and I'll tell you, it's been slow this year. So basically I just came up to see what the conditions were like up here and now it's time to hit the road again. A lot warmer here now, huh, Lou? Yeah, so today is about 60 degrees, pouring, and tomorrow is gonna be freezing. Fortunately, a few days ago, I did get out and I filmed some really cool videos, which will be coming up this week. A day like today is just part of the big story that I wanna share with you guys. I gotta go, I gotta get out of here. I need to uh, film some B-roll for this flashlight review, do more packages, and get on the interwebs and see what other people are doing, and it just never ends. But I'm glad for that. All right, everybody, see you tomorrow. Definitely tune in. It's gonna be a different kind of video. Uh, I'll give you one hint. I'm in it for about 18 seconds. That's all I'm telling you. So we'll see you then for the rest of the day. Enjoy, you're not, Thursday.